Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm working on this output bearing retainer for this new process 435. Thing's about uh, 50, 60 years old. I don't exactly know how old it is. It's old enough that the input bearing is not tapered. But look at the problem that I've got here. You can see that that hole is in terrible shape. It's got a crack that runs down through here, one that runs across, and I don't think it's real easy to see here, but the threads, even inside that hole, are pretty destroyed pretty much all the way to the bottom. Now, I've looked around to see if I can find a replacement for this, and evidently this option here is not terribly common. I can't find one used, I can't find one anywhere. So, what I'm going to do before I continue searching is see if I can fix this. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is run a bolt in. So I think this is a 7 16 bolt. It fits here just fine. Now again, these threads are completely screwed. So, I can't actually run this in here. It sort of goes in. It stops halfway down in. And even if I could get it all the way down in, again, the threads on this upper side of the hole, they're completely gone all the way down. So really, this is kind of screwed. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to drill this out and then tap it, leaving it cracked, drill it and tap it for a helicoil. And then I'm going to run the helicoil in so that it covers up this keep the bolt in it, and then I'm going to weld all of this up to try to fill these cracks and then build this back up. At this point, it is worth me mentioning that I am not a welder. I am just a person who owns a welder. It's all self-taught, so don't go running to the comments whining about how I'm f***ing it up. I know I am, but as long as it goes back together, and hold, that's all I really care about. So let's get the drill out and drill and tap this for that helicoil. All right, I think I'm all the way down. You can see it's a blind hole, which makes it even more fun. But you can see just how far that crack goes there. Come on, focus. It's there. It's it's pretty effed up. Yeah, so you can see that right there. So I've at least opened it up. Now I'm going to run the tap down in. And this is difficult because there's a big chunk missing over here. Of course, the chips are going into the bottom of the hole. So I'm going to take it back out so I can clean it. You may notice I'm not using any lubricant on this. That's intentional. I don't want to contaminate this any further than I have to. All right, so it's threaded uh, pretty much all the way to the bottom. Probably as far as I can get with that tap anyway. The depth of this hole is definitely further than that goes. So I'm going to run two of these onto the bolt to push them down in. Now, I don't know a whole lot about welding, but I know enough that you're not supposed to weld with zinc. So this is all I have. I don't have a stainless. So I'm going to go drop this into muriatic acid for a little bit and take that zinc off so we get down to just straight steel. These are stainless steel helicoils, so I'm not worried about them. This is what I'm going to be using. Wear some gloves for this. Once it stops bubbling, 
you've removed all the zinc. So now I'm going to take this and rinse it off thoroughly with water. I'll be right back. Now that I have this clean, go ahead and put the two helicoils on. The one without the tab first, then the one with. Got them so that they come together like that. I'm going to run this down into this bolt hole. It does not seem to want to work. This is the tool you usually use to push them down in. And now I'll try using the bolt for this one to get it the rest of the way in. That doesn't want to work either. I guess I'll try a second one with the tab. My concern right now is that this end needs to meet those threads. Though, I guess if there's a little bit of a gap, they still are in the same thread, so should work. So now it is down against the lower one. So we just take that and use that to break off that tab. And we'll try to break off that lower one. There we go. And now let's see if we can get a view on it. It's threaded most of the way, except where that tab snapped off. I'm going to see if I can turn it to close that gap. It does not want to go. Well, I'll now take this clean bolt and run it down in. All right, we are in. So now I am going to take a grinder and try to get through this top layer of aluminum that is just probably all sorts of porous and full of garbage. Try to clean it up and then we'll try to put some aluminum into this. Just going to use a carbide rasp for it. First, I'm just going to try to heat this up and flow this around, fill up these holes and clean it up. The stuff is super, super filthy. I keep going across it and it keeps bringing up impurities and in fact the bubbles actually occasionally flare up and pop. Just the nature of how it is, it was really hard to get down in here. And, as I said, I'm not a welder. I just built it up and globbed it in here until it was well above this surface here. I'm going to let it cool off, take out that bolt, and clean it off. I mean, I don't care if it looks like this, as long as I've got, you know, meat all the way around it and threads that go down in, should be enough to hold this. Now I'm going to check it for flatness with a straight edge. Nicely, it doesn't have to be perfectly flat. Seems pretty good. I'm going to hit it with a flat file just to help make sure. Alright, now I'm going to run a 7 16 bolt down into it. That's my depth, just by hand. So, I 
can turn it in that far by hand. Here's one of the helicoils. They spread out a little bit, but it's definitely past the first one, especially since the upper one I've removed some. So it's making the transition between the two helicoils no problem. Here's the finished hole. You can see the threads go all the way to the bottom. And nicely, now they're stainless steel and not aluminum, so they should be stronger than before. Admittedly, this is not all that pretty, but should be functional. Good enough that I can put this back together. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.